touch from my heart, bitch, so I'm laying low. Yes, I could rethink what I'm thinking if I had control. But I don't, so don't you be asking why I love you so. Your love ain't free, it's killing me. I want it to end, oh. Cause I've been trying, I've been waiting, waiting for so long. Welcome back to the European Ultimate Indoor Championships 20. From 
Lithuania. It's been a long day, nearly a full 12 hours of ultimate broadcast. We've definitely been here at the venue for a full 12 stretch. Back to back games here in this women's division at the Galiava complex where Christina will be taking over the torch tomorrow for the mixed division with dull double camera streaming for your delectation oh yeah oh yeah but closing us up for the day we have great britain versus poland this one jostling for position in the bottom of pool b where we have the swedes and the dutch taking those two top spots having a heck of a tussle in their matchup to see where the crossovers will shake out but this one is not only playing for the slightly softer matchup of Lithuania or Latvia. Latvia having taken not quite the storm through the pool that the Lithuanians, the hosts did, but of course also playing for the lay-in. This is about an eight o'clock game or a 11 o'clock game, depending on how you finish this one out. So the winner gets a bit more time in bed and playing the second spot in pool A. And that is very valuable. Well, starting us off on offense will be the Poles. A young team, not so familiar with this indoor style of ultimate. Hammer over the top, Whiteley in the area to defend. Marshall Follick, able to connect. Watch out for the number 84 for Poland. She's a dynamite defender and takes one of the biggest matchups available with GB, Shona Whiteley. GB had a slow start to their first two games, and that's a drop out of the blocks at the first off offensive attempt. Pachonka thinks about that hammer over the top, but has a high force. Folek is going to float one out and well reeled in by Zombek. That is not a clean, but a hold for Poland to start off this last game of the day. Well, an opportunity is squandered for Great Britain to start this one off with a break. But that's fine. Got to just go out and hold. But both these teams yet to have a win at the tournament. And this one means a whole heck of a lot. Hills far sideline, doesn't like the look of Hiley. Boyd, bit too much clustering in front of the handler set, but through comes Fozard with a lead pass for Sarah Hills, and it's called good by the defender straight away. Great spirit from Anya Yusorska. That was a very quick play. You see the replay here. Not a big fan of the faffing in front of the defenders. Closes up the field for a little bit, but a nice low inside break from Lulu Boyd. The secretly Irish Scottish woman. Oh. Plays her ultimate. Secretly Irish. She's not very secretly Irish. As soon as you talk to her, you can hear it in her voice. <laughs> oh, but a bit of confusion for the Polish women. It's going to give the disc to Katie Flight. Far side. Sitting around for that around break, then Ricks with the inside backhand. Henry, back to Quinn. Flight thinking about the break, takes the poach off. Gemma Henry now with the around break. It's going to be a big ask for Milan Confornier, the stats leader for Team GB in the women's division. Oh, is the isolation in the end zone? I say that. She's not quite, actually, I tell a lie. Shona Whiteley's got one more coming into this game. Nice upline play. Huge inside backhand, low break. Good continuation, not getting too hasty, though well picked off by Katie Flight. Now flying down the sideline, milking that pass for all it was worth, and then throwing an easy toss. Milan Corfonier, the captain, claims another goal and that is a break for Great Britain. See that here, Katie Flight initiating that offense and really milking that backhand until only 
a short distance to the end zone remains. Utterly scandalous play. So a big high pull pinning the poles in their end zone. Montowska across. Chavonko just sitting in that handless space. The direction of traffic downfield. Oh, and that is good. Olivia Zanitska with the goal after the point and shoot. I don't think she was the intended target, but she definitely was the one who got that in the end. I think there was a little bit of a hustling of traffic. A little bit of point of the go that way earlier on. But uh, hey, what, what a play. Works. Quietly dish into Quinn. Flight grinding on that far sideline, nearly collecting in the bad way with Fee Ray, but a cheeky pass over the top. Milan Cornfournier just hanging out in the end zone. As she likes to do. She has a very good positioning. She's quite tall as well, that always helps. Yeah, fair enough. It's not everything though. Just being tall, not enough. You're quite right, Christina. You have to be tall and you have to also be quite smart, especially at this level. You also have to have throws that are capable of throwing fantastic toss scubas. Hitting that break side, very difficult to defend. You have to have a bit of everything. This is good flow from the Polish women. Not really making too much ground. Rona Gordon just marshalling at the back, but that one never comes back in bounds. Boyd chasing down a little bit of a chat with the mark. And then Monchowska. Not entirely sure what that's about. So after this discussion, it looks like the turnover will stand. Boyd with the hammer over the top to Dalman. Great attack on the defensive attempt, but a tiny bit too far. Hill's trying to avoid smashing head first into the concrete wall. Gordon puts pressure on the around throw, but not quite the block. Hill's hungry to get the disc back. Oh, but a little bit of bubble there, just falling over. Shomska, unable to get her paws around it. Boyd back with the disc in hand. Cheeky scuba, but it's going to be taken away by the defence. Perhaps too obvious a shot. But squandered opportunity. Seems like both teams are not quite in it. It's turning into a bit of a dirty point. Turnover City, population, us. Dalman poached off, taken straight away by Hopper. Grenson fetching Jordans. Nice upline cut from Boyd. Hills going to the other side. Gordon pops it in front for Boyd for the goal. Rona Gordon just happy to sit in that soft space. Bet better patience from Team GB. Yeah, it was always around their own end zone. Their attacking end zone, rather. So even though there was a bit of miscommunications or maybe not quite a clear focus, they always had a good field position and r took advantage of that. Pachonka. 
One of the more experienced players on this Polish side that has so many juniors. Oh, Shona Whiteley coming through and stealing the disc away. Not quite the grab, but using those long, limby, lengthy arms to nip the disc away. Oh, it's not the obvious Goober, it's just a cheeky high release backhand required. Milan Fournier again just hitting that break side straight away, knowing where the disc is going to go. 5 2 now, the lead for Great Britain. This connection between Flight and Milan Fournier really working out well for the British side. I think they've scored th three goals in that exact combo. And on paper, we did expect Great Britain to be the favourites coming into this one. Not only from their initial seeding, of course the Poles being seeded 7th and GB 6th, but also from their results thus far in these games. Rona Gordon coming in for the collection. Starting up her own charity. And a goal out of the block. 4GB, another break, 6-2, extending their lead to four. But yeah, GB in this pool played both of their opponents, 16-12, coming out on the wrong side. Whereas the Polish team have not managed to break double digits so far in the tournament, 17-6 and 17-5, the score lines against the Swedes and the Dutch, respectively but they're a very young team, up and coming. Yeah, I bet they're learning so much from this experience here and matching up with some more well-known, more experienced players as well. Nice slicing inside lefty shot. Pace and movement needs the reset, finds one. Jomska. Sits and makes that reset a little bit too obvious and nearly punches it out of the air. Jumps up. Oh, and a cheeky scuba to the open side of the pitch from Katie Flight. Hits Menazon Fournier. Who else? I don't even expect anyone else to score on that line there. There's a reason why she's sitting so high up the stats board. And the Grand Fournier involved in four of the seven of GB's points. So just over half. That works. It does work. <laughs> and then Katie Flyde has the four assists to go with the four scores. Oh, that's true. That's a good point. Nice around break, well kept by Zombie. A big backhand, and that is a lovely put into the perfect space. Patricia Pashinska Yashinska with the goal, the spirit captain. And that keeps a little bit of gas in Poland's balloon. Seven three, the current score. Quite a big margin, but managed to score now and keep keep it as close as possible. Flight, flick around to Fire, lightly up the line. Fakes off the hammer to Melancon Fournier. Going to need something in the form of a reset. Has Ray. Ray dishes back to Henry. Lovely give go. Katie Fly up the line just shy of the goal. Dishes to Shona Whiteley. That was just a bit too easy for Great Britain. Keeping the disc moving and flowing short, sharp and devastating. Their structure is really well. Working with three handlers back. Some more active people and then isolating flight there in the red zone, I want to call it. In the yes, third the final third. Yeah, that's the red zone. 
and then this time not connecting with Melancon Fournier, but with Shona Whiteley. Change it up a little bit. Do something a little bit different. Give someone else some stats. That's nice grab for Follek over the top. Immediately bombs it deep. And that's a lovely way to score on Arata Zombek. Would you be a bit of their own medicine with that fast pace? The poles work really well when they've put those shapely longer puts into the end zone. It'd be nice to see them do a little bit more of that in the centre field. I'd agree. I do think that they cannot quite apply the indoor style of play in their whole like, team during uh, the game. There are bits and pieces that are very indoor typical. But overall, they, in my opinion, they run too much. They work too hard. Be more lazy. <laughs> sometimes, so well. sometimes that is what you have to do, especially indoors, where it's so much easier to break the mark. You can do see, less. You can see Merlin Confonier often just standing in the end zone and waiting for this short two cuts, as we saw here. Well, that was cutter initiated. But yes, exactly that. It's the patience. She doesn't get involved too soon. But it's still, she stands there until she does two exactly. cuts and that's it. Yeah, yeah, Nothing exactly. else. Chilling it's around. A lot of the people get a bit hasty. They get a bit excited. They try and take things you know, into their own hands too much. But the captain herself, Melon Confournier, is showing that you can just let your other players on the pitch do the things. So that's going to be half-time. 9-4, Great Britain lead over Poland. All about that lion tomorrow. We'll be back with the second half after this. Enjoying the show? Show your support for the live stream and the people making the show. Buy a super chat or super sticker on YouTube directly. Select your donation and type your message to the world. And share. All donations go into directly funding new shows. Buy a super sticker or super chat now. Thank you. We believe mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe. Made in Amsterdam. Ultiveek. Ultiveek.net. Second half in Pool B, the deciding match to finish us off today and decide who will start at 8 a.m. against the top seed Lithuania versus who will play at 11 against Latvia. Those two crossovers from the top of Pool A. Great Britain currently with a commanding five-point lead. But we've seen second halves go the way of the other team by break after break after break. So it really ain't over. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Until time is over. Well, then. <laughs> <laughs> Can't really and do anything, can you? Expect anything, literally anything, especially indoors. As GB try and isolate a flow of players upfield. Fozard looking around, finding Boyd. Into Hailey. Hammer over the top, hitting Sarah Hill straight in the basket. And that is a lovely, easy hold coming into this second half. 10 4 to Great Britain. It was beautiful offense from Great Britain, really dynamic. Classic seven cut. We love to mm -hmm. see it. It's it can it can be so easy. <laughs> Although there's a bit of traffic actually. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit. There's, there's some so some opportunities there for the poles to get a block. How do you think Team GB are going to fare against Latvia tomorrow? If they Depends. can win this, if they can maintain if, that six-point If they can lead. Maintain, maintain the lead, I think they'll have to change something about the dyn dynamic because whereas Poland really sticks to their matchups, 
their woman on woman matchups. Oh, what a grab there! Reading it to perfection. Well, talking about sticking to things, Anna Machos Machoska there just holding the ground, hold the fort. And what a way to respond in the second half. Yeah, so I said, I said Lithuania, I uh, sorry, Latvia. It could be either Lithuania or Latvia that Team GB face tomorrow, depending on how this one comes. Yeah, so get a bit hasty there. <laughs> yeah, both of those teams have a very good structure and they are very smart when it comes to defense and poaching off. So the way GB are separating their cuts, I do think Latvia and Lithuania will have an easier, um, a better easier, answer. Yeah, a better answer to their to their defense. Well, at the As moment, a sky ball goes up into the end zone. A little shrug there from Hill. What did he expect me to do with that? There was plenty of coverage. So let's see what GB's O line can do. On defense, pressures the immediate turn. Just in front of us. Just taking that step in bounds to make sure we're not clattering with the objects on the sideline. Lovely run down line, huge snag from Boyd. Thought she was going to lay out, but didn't have to. Indeed, she didn't. Gordon punches it in, clocks the time card. Sarah Hills with another goal for her tally. That'll make three so far this game as GB maintain that six point stretch. 20 minutes left in that game and a commanding 11 to five lead on the GB side. Lovely high lefty release and a grab to match it. Chance. Oh, lovely upline cut. Monchowska with the goal for the Polish women. It looks like, like they kind of found their flow in the second half. And I mentioned before that they haven't really adapted to the indoor style of play. Well, this last point now really showed how they can move, move an open space to get the advantage from the indoors. It's the key of throwing over the defense. You have to be willing to throw over to the defense to where you can't see, but where your teammate can be the only one to catch it. That was really expansive play to start us off. That nice high grab from Yanitska, I believe. Nonetheless, we got to start with some breaks. Oh yeah. Otherwise. Well, it's nice to see Great Britain coming out a little bit more feisty from the start of the game after conceding that first point. The two on the bounce, much better than their previous two matches where they left themselves in rather a large and deep hole. Highly fakes the scuba, takes the reset to Fozard, who's poached off. Gordon underneath. Lovely around to Highly. Cheeky scuba to Fozard. Timing was fine for Hills on the reset. But a nice, pretty grab for Rona Gordon. Just sashaying across the front of the end zone. Very belly-esque. And if you want to jump in the chat to let us know who you're supporting, is it Poland or Great Britain? Everyone loves an underdog with just 20 minutes left to go, more or less. Jump in the chat, hit that subscribe and like button. Consider becoming a patron of Ultimate Art. We've got three concurrent streams tomorrow, all three <laughs> venues at this European Indoor Championship. Everything. Frisbee. All the games. In, in fact, oh, that I actually literally covers every single game tomorrow. Yep. We, we do love you, audience. Imagine Imagine that. Imagine every single game at a tournament being streamed. Gonna get some Real interesting times. Mostly from our commentary as we become increasingly tired. <laughs> It'll be fun tomorrow, I can I'll say that yeah. much. That one's going to sit and sink out of bounds. Dismay on the face of Chivonko. 
And a bit of side stacky action from Fire attacking the break side. Nice around shot, just in bounds. Henry. Ray bumping up line, comes in for the reset. Henry with the big smell. Saying, let's go, let's go to the park for a game of catch. A big one over the top, Melacon 48, misreads. actually there was, was actually just a second break opportunity EGB have had all second half we've been trading for quite some time well they're going to get another look at this one and a Confournier sitting in that deep space but a bit of an ambitious shot from the Polish women but nice to see them taking those on Dream big. Good, it's equipment stoppage. Indeed. Well, not its own stoppage, just extends the stoppage. Flight, zooming up that far sideline. Escuba over the top, just over the de defense. Perfect displacement. But a lot of standing off there from the defense. Good to see them getting a little bit closer, a bit more in the action. Well, if you, ha if you have something that works five times, or maybe six times, you have to change something. You have to stay closer or change the angle of attack. Or maybe ask for a little bit of help, you know, ask for a bit of a poach off, take one side more committedly. That would be great. Stay a bit more body aware, get closer. Don't touch each other, obviously. Ultimate being a non-contact sport, but have Not a bit allowed. more hustle. Be more aggressive. Be aggressive. Be like from, uh, what's it? Get it on. I think it is. Mm. The, the film. Ah, I'm well, sorry, I'm not. We'll, a, we'll have to watch a it movie later. Kind of sir. Oh, oh, trust me, neither am I. As as, <laughs> as my better informed movie buff friends will tell me, I've watched a really esoteric series of films. I'll tell you what, though, that's a huge bid on that far side. I think the knees well scuffed Full and extended. It, yeah, Yachevic, huge bid. That looked like it hurt. Really did. You just hear as the skin cells <laughs> left her body. <laughs> You've got to go for it, though. Hopper, hammer over the top, looking for Dalman. Cheeky scuba, well collected, going up with both hands and keeping the body underneath it. Sarah Hills leaving no window of opportunity for any defender as GB extend their lead by one break in this second half. So two breaks. No. We're messing up our stats board. It's two rakes in a row, three on the bounce. Looking in charge of this match, our Great Britain. Late stall, undercut coming in, but the disc is a little bit too short. Yanitska trying to give the reset. And flight will trot over to the disc. Whiteley setting up. Pinning the defender to that far side and throwing a bit of a spicy inside backhand. A scram connection. And a little hand slap celebration between Flight and Whiteley. Working on that connection between the two of them. Flight, as I already mentioned, originally hailing from Glasgow Ultimate scene, which Glasgow Ultimate women didn't tend to play for Swift, which is the origin club of many of the current Scram squad. Flight playing her club ultimate for Iceni. Right, yep, I've matched up against her. During this rather long season, past season. As we see a bit of a collision between Hills and Follick. Just a bit of... Seems shaken up. Yeah, just a bit of contact, contact between the two of them. Follick rolling that ankle. She'll be replaced by Zambic. But uh, interestingly, Team GB did not appear at the regional qualifiers a week ago in preparation for this tournament. Interesting. Presumably choosing to remain uninjured as much as possible. Good idea. Indoors is 
a surface where injuries can happen quite Especially on 4G, when you play in blades, there are a couple of incidents yeah. at that tournament of people turning their knees in an uncom uncompassive yeah. fashion. <laughs> but let's not think about that. Harper bringing it in. Big old poach on Sarah Hills. Identifies, takes it. Highly. Hills up line. Asks for it, doesn't get it. Force closes the window. Poland happy to take on these poachers. Gordon underneath. Hopper hitting the line. Big reaching flick across. Just in the end zone. Huge effort from Onorata Zambek to try and get the layout block. Just not quite the right position to do so. And GB take it within one of game. Can they come out on defense in this first game point and close the book and earn themselves a lion in half an hour? Or just well, they, over? They have been on the better energy level for the last few points. The last five points have been in favor of GB. And there you go. They, there is an opportunity to finish that game quickly. And Hannah Quinn personifying energy and attack running down that pool with Vim. Whiteley cutting straight under. Doesn't want to squeak it up line. Lefty, oh my goodness, yes, what a block. Dominika Jazowska, sorry. Oh, and Gritz just stands in the end zone and collects the goal. Poland keep it alive for one more. 16-7. turned so quickly. 16-7, as you just said, in favor of the Brits. But what a defensive effort there and picking up the disc quickly and getting that point on the board for the Polish side. Dominika Jounster there with fantastic handler coverage. Just getting that little fingertips nudging the disc away on the swing reset. But the poles have been poaching a lot, really allowing that easy back pass. So it's that just switch up of the rhythm. Or maybe there was a bit of fatigue setting in. Or It's been a long day. It, it has. All these, the all these athletes thinking they're having to do work. We're having to do work here. So much more. <laughs> Less oh, physical, more that. mental. Got to be honest. So coming out on offense, second game point. For Great Britain, can Poland keep it alive? Can they get themselves another on the board? This would be their highest scoring game so far this tournament. Already posted 17-6 versus Sweden, 17-5 versus the Netherlands. Which means it could be up for a very tight match potentially. Team GB, it's a scuba to the soft side, and it's goal. Tanya Fozard collects, and 17 7, our final score here, wrapping up the action for Pool B in this women's division. What a game! Poland had so many good moments, but in the NGB, it was just more composed and had more luck at times, taking two big runs in first and the second half to get the better of them and get that win on the board which means for them an 11 a.m start tomorrow it does they've got the in brackets what air quotes softer matchup they will play latvia at 11 a.m and it's going to be poland who face top seed lithuania at 8 a.m first thing tomorrow they'll be followed by the other quarter final sorry not quarter finals crossovers denmark versus the netherlands at nine that's going to be one heck of a game oh, and yeah. ukraine versus sweden at 10 but that's going to wrap us up here for 
this wonderful Galliava complex today. But tomorrow it's going to be filled to the brim with mixed division action and two camera coverage being compared through that day by Christina Obermeyer to my right. I've been Hannah Pendlebury for our hardworking, tireless Ulti TV crew, bringing you 12 straight hours of ultimate coverage. Two streams today, three streams tomorrow. Make sure you are nowhere but sat on your sofa with triple device coverage. It's been a pleasure and we will see you tomorrow for more.
Maybe somewhere I haven't been before. I don't wanna kill the vibe. I don't wanna feel it if it don't feel right. I just wanna break the ice. The reason why we chose to say goodbye But I can help my feelings Right now, I can't deny You never left my mind And now my heart is beating Why did I have to break it up? Guess I was just a young girl Living in a dream world I thought that I'd be better off But now I pay the price I don't know how
get away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah. Maybe a break, boy, you're my weakness. Giving we take the love that we made. It's my favorite drug. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain holds you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you.
to find some balance in my life I never really put up a fight And now I'm losing sleep What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? I try to follow my heart But I lost it somehow Wish that someone could say It'll all be okay Just, just listen to me as I say Listen to me as I
for you to know when you need space. I hope you find your peace and that you get a taste with yourself. Yeah. 